Sam Duckworth is a UK singer-songwriter known previously for being the frontman of indie pop, indie pop, indie pop slash folk outfit Get Cape Wear Cape Fly, a group that had quite a few popular, well, relatively popular singles in the mid to late 2000s. War of the Worlds, Call Me Ishmael, I Spy, absolutely lovely songs. Do check them out, especially Call Me Ishmael. That is probably one of my favorite songs ever. After ditching the Get Cape nickname, however, Sam Duckworth would still pursue a career in music. In fact, just last year he released an EP under the name Recreations. You know, it was it was on the poppier side of things, but felt a little too overproduced, glossy, a little too thin. Personally, I'd kind of always gravitated towards the more stripped down, honest side of Duckworth's music. So I was quite pleased that this new solo album from Sam Duckworth um, kind of features that stripped down acoustic sound, and from embracing this sound, he had certainly benefited from embracing said sound. Duckworth's anecdotes are tongue-in-cheek with a dash of friendliness, observational wit, and they are sung with a fiery, passionate voice at times, sometimes even gravelly. I like the song 1993, which pokes a little bit of fun at the prospect of 90s kids, and also pokes fun at how living in an internet age means every new piece of information is kind of flying past us faster than ever before. And there's a cheeky line in there about how it's hard to keep up with all the latest memes. Hey, I really like the song Lifetime Concept Store. I thought that was a really clever idea of using the idea of buying and selling parts of your lifestyle as a means of kind of fitting in with society or to kind of try and make yourself stand out from society. A lot of the album is related to youth and kind of wanting to go back to those youthful years where things didn't seem as stressful as they are when you're much, much older and you've got so many responsibilities. And Sam's simpler choice of instrumentation kind of complements that subject matter very well. Kind of wanting to embrace something a little more laid back, a little more stripped back, a little more simple. That said, there are some moments where you are hearing some more plugged in instrumentation, more electric guitars coming through, especially on the track, um, what's it called, Multitasker, that's it. And, so, and there are some kind of synthetic strings kind of coming in on the final track, Stars. Although the songs with catchier, more anthemic choruses like on 1993 or the very end of Multitasker kind of end up being the strongest songs on here because that acoustic sound is so stripped down. There isn't always much else to have your attention taken by. I mean, it's easy to write an acoustic song or ballad that's sort of in one ear and out the other, especially when that sound has been developed and kind of done over and over again for decades. It kind of takes a bit more effort to kind of find one nowadays that's going to stick with you. And unfortunately, there are moments on this album that are kind of like that. They are kind of lacking a bit more punch than they could have had, like the opening track, which is nice to listen to, but kind of is one of the less memorable ones on here. But that should not detract from the amount of songs here that do have catchy choruses, great lyrical commentary, very just good songwriting fundamentals in general from Sam Duckworth. The guy has been writing songs for ages now, and his experience has not let him down. This album is heartwarming, it's quite fun, it's quite witty too. I liked it. I'd give it a 7 out of 10.